Aj koč. Aj koč. Again, problem with the internet, you know, even on, on the phone now, I, I need to reset, I cannot open this, this uh, link. Okay. And this at home uh, doesn't work, you know, just try now, but... <sighs> they call me and they ask for an uh, address, you know, but I'm not sure, I send... Uh, SMS that uh, with this address. Yeah. You will tell me when we can start. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. What time Chandra Muki will uh, connect? We told uh, around five, four forty-five. Four forty-five. Okay. Any people from uh, Sai you didn't connect? Uh, no, no one from Sai, no. Me? Some people from Sai. You didn't uh, contact some people from Sai also to say a few words, no? No, no, no. They are also part of this, so you know this is. We will call once again these people, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah, I will for, for internet. Yeah. Which we can start now. I will send uh, good evening uh, to everyone. So step by step, we <laughs> reach the end of uh, this uh, session, and uh, hope uh, this is just beginning. It's not end, you know. So hope we can be uh, together maybe next time in live, not uh, on this virtual. Uh, but according to this technology, really this. Uh, Two weeks almost was uh, for me first of all first experience and uh, uh, I think that we <laughs> both coach Martic and me because we work together as a team uh, we try to do our best first of all again thanks Sai and the uh, Basketball Federation of India uh, who uh, give us this chance to be together with you and uh, to try to share uh, our, our uh, knowledge and our experience. Uh, from beginning, uh, my topic today is uh, <coughs> offense against zone defense. So, uh, first of all, uh, later then we can uh, discuss it, uh, the context of this uh, last session is also this uh, uh, open table, a round table, where, where we can uh, make uh, interaction with you. So, uh, first of all, I want to know that uh, all of you receive these links what I uh, carefully prepare for you, because uh, only with these uh, links uh, you can uh, complete all these topics what uh, what I <laughs> present to, to, to you. So uh, not only this one link, you know, all these links, what, what uh, I, I prepare and what I uh, share to, to you. So uh, this link is a set play uh, versus 2-3 zone defense. Why, why I chose this? Because, you know, usually 2-3 uh, zone defense uh, we play all teams all over the world, 
and especially in uh, young categories. So uh, this is uh, something about uh, have of, of course you know strong strong point and uh, weak point, but uh, uh, I will not talk too much uh, about defense today. When I was talking yesterday about uh, this uh, transition game, uh, I, I tell to you that uh, the best offense against uh, zone defense is uh, pass break or, or transition game. So this is what we have to thinking once when, because in India, as we were talking many times, is still very popular uh, zone defense. So. Uh, according to this, we need to, to uh, try to find the answer and uh, the best way how to, to attack this, this uh, defense. So, uh, this uh, fast break uh, offense, you know, it's uh, just because uh, defense is not uh, ready to, to set uh, position defense and to start to play five on five. That's why it's very important before they uh, they <coughs> make this, this uh, put, they took this position on defense, you know, to try to attack and to score easy points. So uh, my experience and uh, what I want to share with you that uh, any offense uh, what we set uh, need to be simple, you know, we don't need to, to uh, too much to complicate. So, uh, I will not uh, touch too much these uh, diagrams because, you know, uh, this is in front of you, this is something what is uh, very good uh, explained, so for sure you will use this for, for uh, your uh, future uh, for your future practices, but uh, as you see, we start with the connection uh, with two position uh, five and four. So uh, why this is uh, important? Because you know, I will uh, later talk about this. This inside game is very important for any offense against uh, zone defense. Today, uh, zone defense again, I, I will just touch a little bit uh, zone defense. Today, uh, zone defense is, defense is not like before. As I compare before, uh, you know, like uh, sunflower, today this zone defense is very aggressive and uh, this uh, all zone defense is uh, very usually uh, combined with uh, man-to-man uh, -man and uh, zone defense and also with matchup defense. So, uh, according to this, uh, we need to, to find the best solution for our, uh, our players and for uh, our, our uh, uh, set, set offense. When we are uh, in, uh, as, uh, of course, you know, in, in zone defense, all these players, you know, uh, protect their their area. So they play, as I said before, you know, on zone defense, uh, on uh, area where is ball, they play with principles of uh, individual defense or man-to-man. -man. Also, when we play man-to-man uh, -man on help side, on weak side, we are in uh, position of uh, uh, zone, you know, so help side is on uh, zone zone position, it's not on individual man-to-man. Uh, -man. So, uh, when we are able to play uh, this set, set offense against uh, zone defense, uh, as I said, ev every offense uh, must be simple and adjust which kind of players we have. This is very important, you know. Uh, when we are talking about this young category and uh, no specialization for uh, each position, you know, position four, five, one, two, three, all of them, they need to know how to play, you know, on, on each position. So, uh, first of all, you know, uh, our players must be on right time, on right spot, on the court. This is the, 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 the first 
things. So uh, what does it mean? Uh, only in this situation we can be able to to uh, be you know uh, successful on on open. So we need to find the best uh, uh, sport and uh, uh, our players to be on right time on this sport. Uh, aggressive rebound uh, from especially from weak side can help us a lot of you know against the uh, zone defense so, so this is something this uh, first uh, what i said this right uh, player on right position second this this uh, this uh, offensive rebound uh, especially from weak side and uh, uh, third one is a uh, good safety uh, players, you know, who can uh, be ready to, to once when they break our offense, who will be ready to stop their their uh, fast break and their easy points. So especially, you know, uh, you you are witness in India here because you play a lot of in young category zone defense. Every time when uh, defense steal the ball, you know they they try and they. Uh, score easy points. So that's why we need, you know, to, to once we, before we start to play set offense against zone defense, we need to, to care about these three things. So uh, I will talk a little bit now about the uh, principles of, uh, uh, of uh, and characteristic of uh, offense against zone defense. So uh, first, uh, team have to be passionate. Doesn't matter which offense we play. Uh, we play free set uh, play. We play overload. We play uh, direct screen. Uh, screen. We play uh, with pick. We need to have passion uh, on on zone defense. So what does it mean? Don't shoot first ball. Take your time on offense. We was talking, especially Coach Matic was talking about uh, this uh, uh, duration of game, 40 minutes, you know, theoretically you are 20 minutes on offense, 20 minutes on defense, you know, or half, half. Before when it was open 30 seconds, it was 20, 20, but now half, half, you know, depends how. So what does it mean, you know? Uh, don't throw the ball immediately once when you cross half. Uh, we are looking for open shot for sure, you know. So take your time. You will be again uh, on position to to uh, shoot and to find this open shot, you know, and to be uh, with more with more uh, uh, present present. Uh, 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 average will be will be much more. So why I'm talking this? Because you know, uh, if we respect defense and if we play strong uh, defensively and we uh, put lot of uh, lot effort on uh, on this defense, and now we cross half and we shoot and, and uh, score no matter or or we miss this uh, uh, first first ball. So it does mean that we have again to go on defense and to work hard. So uh, on offense, we need to be to to change this rhythm, you know, to to a uh, little bit to slow down and to give our players uh, opportunity to to recover, you know, to take a rest a little bit because on defense for sure we have no time to rest. Even one man uh, on defense are not active and. Uh, not doing a proper proper job, it's very pro uh, big problem for us. So offensively, you can take your rest. You know, you can uh, be out of uh, for the, for the moment, but on defense, you cannot. That's why it's very important, you know, to take your time and to be uh, very ra rational uh, on on offense. Don't to to rush and to shoot first ball. Many times, you know, your players will tell you, Coach, I was open. No matter, you will be open again. You know, just take your time. So this is very, very important. So uh, what we need also, we need to uh, put the ball inside. You know, uh, that's why we start this uh, diagram with this 
connection between two big players, you know. Uh, it's these two uh, players will connect uh, like uh, high low, or uh, they will you know uh, uh, go on short corner and then give a chance uh, our high post to cut uh, for layup from a high post position. Uh, no matter you know. Also, what they need to know, as we was talking before, especially. My topics was uh, this uh, position five five men. You know, I was talking about this uh, pick. You know, pick and pop for sure and uh, ready for shoot also against uh, this this uh, zone zone defense. Uh, our set play actually, you know, uh, this is uh, what what we need to do. But our set play. Play uh, start once when the ball come inside. On that moment, we can start to 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 uh, build our our set play. This is uh, uh, one of uh, most important uh, condition how to start uh, to 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 play uh, set offense against zone defense. What is also important? Uh, it's very important, you know, uh, this uh, spacing. So all players need to uh, have uh, to be on proper distance between, you know, each other, and also spacing between lines on the court and uh, between uh, players on, on the court. This is very important. Offensive rebound from weak side must be, you know, every every time, every shoot we need to follow, especially from weak side because. This is the moment when uh, defense turn around, they lose uh, their men, and uh, it, it's a great opportunity to took offensive rebound and to spend another uh, uh, another time on on offense. Uh, and as I said uh, before, you know uh, we need to to save this uh, line for. Uh, in a transition on on, on defense uh, to to be ready to stop this easy point this is uh, layup and of course you know not to do this with foul because today we need to be very careful we were talking about this our referee uh, friends uh, Norman and uh, Atman they they were talking about this uh, unsportive foul and and so on so this is. Uh, what we have to to care about uh, uh, when we are on offense against zone defense, uh, offensively also very important as less as possible dribbling. So don't dribble ball too much. This is nothing. As I said before, one dribbling is one pass. So you don't uh, dribble the ball for 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 nothing. Uh, what we need also to to do, we need to find good uh, angle for passing. This is important, you know. If you are nearby defense and you have not good angle, it will be problem. Every time uh, uh, to get uh, uh, to uh, when you receive ball to be on triple threat position. This is very important. What does it mean? You are ready for shoot, no matter which position. If it's on short corner, if or, or you are on low post position with back pivot or front pivot, you face to basket. This is important and be ready for for shooting. Again, if you are on high post position with back spin with the, uh, this uh, half spin, you face the basket and you are on triple threat position. So this is the this is very important again zone defense. Once again, every time get the ball in triple threat position. Uh, next, uh, we need to be able to drive and kick. As you see on this diagram, uh, I I don't see quite good. But I think it's a position. Uh, no matter which which, uh, which position is uh, which number is this, but. It's a uh, one man. It's drive, middle, and then 
kick the ball on on side. And after that, they they rotate. You know, this is also very very important. Um, we need to be ready to take a shoot. So, according to this triple threat, you know, and uh, this uh, drive and kick, we need to be ready for for shooting. Once when we stop or when we pass after this kick, we need to be triple threat position ready for shooting. We need uh, against zone defense to use much more fake than against man to man. So, you know, once when you receive this ball in triple threat position, fake pass, fake shoot, fake uh, penetration, and then continue. So don't, uh, first don't do, you know, when you receive the ball, you make one dribbling and then catch the ball. This is nothing. Again, I, I return on, on this previous. This is for nothing. This dribbling is not uh, useful. And you use this, the most uh, dangerous weapon in basketball, for nothing. So, uh, screen must be very good. So, this, uh, once, uh, when we have a set play against zone defense, when we play side pick, you know, this screen must be very good, very precision, uh, with good uh, timing, you know, and especially we need to respect the rules not to make offensive foul. So for this pick is, uh, as I talked before, responsibility is both. Who took, uh, who, who uh, set the screen and who used this screen, you know, to continue to cre create one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two -two from, from this pick. So uh, this principle is uh, much more important than uh, set play. What I talked before, actually, again, uh, we, we come back on, on uh, our fundamentals, you know. So uh, whatever I, I uh, talk now, it's part of individual uh, fundamental, you know, uh, uh, quality of, of our players. And, of course, individual tactics, not, not only technics, but also tactics tactics. Uh, depends uh, which kind of players we have. So uh, according to this, we can organize this uh, set play. If we have a uh, very, very good uh, this uh, position four and five, we will play more on, uh, we will use this, this position. Actually, this two, three zone is, uh, you know, uh, because of uh, this four and five, uh, if uh, op opponent team have a good uh, players on position four and five, they will decide to play this two three zone. What is our task? Uh, our task task uh, is uh, you know to to put again right person on right right place and also. Uh, we need to have uh, good skills uh, players uh, and uh, also who who can understand the game. So uh, my advice is, you know, once when you start uh, this to uh, to to uh, educate and to to uh, teach them to play zone defense, you first have to to uh, care about this individual. And then you will find, you know, the, the, the best players for uh, uh, this position. So, you know, on a high level basketball position four, it, it cannot be, uh, for example, a uh, uh, four man player. So you can put also three men on position high post, uh, high post position. So because of that, I'm talking, you know, you need to find proper proper position to, to, to your players, but your player need to understand what they need to do. That's why it's very important before you start with set play, you need to um, educate them, you know, and to, to uh, put them uh, in their mind uh, what is important against zone defense. And then you, you will decide which kind of set players 
uh, play you will play overload uh, uh, this tech or this uh, peak or uh, high low uh, dark in no matter you know which, which kind uh, set opens but they need to be ready for this so uh, when we talk about two three zone uh, i want to tell you that there is a two way how we enter the uh, on on uh, on uh, this zone so first of all we need to watch uh, to to see how this first line this uh, in blue one and two how they they play uh, this defense you know uh, they are uh, they spread or they are uh, tight you know so uh, because of that we need to to uh, to see how we can uh, and and entrance the the ball and uh, uh, entrance to to set play so we need to pass left and right and we need also to pass on high post position so once when they spread uh, with fake you know or without fake you you will just pass the ball and as i said before once when the ball go inside we can start our set play uh with the dribbling as you see on this uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, diagram you will taking after this uh, dribbling you we need to taking same spacing between players so don't be you know too uh, too close each other because one defensive play will be easy play defense on both of of uh, this this two offensive players uh teach players how to attack to put uh, defense out of balance this is very important what does it mean uh, for example if we pass on uh, from top of the key if we pass on 45 to to player uh, uh, number three you know somebody from second line have to come out to help and to recover this is moment when our big uh, boy or girl you know go on short corner and open this pass because uh, and then uh, the defense must be uh, must rotate you know and uh, of course they will be out of ba uh, balance so this is our intention offensively to put defense out uh, out of, of balance uh, one three one offense is uh, very good uh, for inside game with uh, duck in or uh, high post or uh, when we go on short corner as you see from early beginning on diagram you know and then uh, cut from uh, high post position for layup and this is this connection five men and four men uh, so this is uh, uh, this is uh, important uh, how uh, their position on uh, first defensive line. Uh, so uh, our offense have not to be static. Uh, three perimeter players uh, have to rotate, uh, and uh, you know as you see before, uh, this is situation four on three drill. It's very good explained, but I will, as I said, uh, tell to you, I prepare one concept which can uh, help you, you know, uh, of course, with uh, all this, this uh, uh, diagram what we prepare to you. So uh, what I want to uh, tell you, three perimeter players, they need to rotate. Once, for example, when you start... Uh, uh, drive from top of the key on 45 to one side he needs to empty this side you know to uh, cross under the free throws line on opposite side and opposite player from 45 degree you know to take position on on uh, this this uh, uh, top of the key of course you know if we uh, use high post with good screen for sure it will be open shut uh, what i want also to to tell you uh, when the ball is going on on a high post position you know 
uh, again, uh, with good pivoting, you know, he need to face the basket, to be ready for shoot, because it's free throws, actually, you know. So uh, they immediately need to face basket. But what others have to do? Uh, let's say uh, this ball is now on, on free throws line. All other players have to be in front of this uh, line, you know, uh, in front of the ball. Why? Because uh, four men on high post position uh, have no time, you know, to find where are you. So don't be behind him because uh, you, you, it, it will be uh, more difficult for extra pass, you know, and timing uh, uh, on, on, uh, with timing on, on proper, proper way. So all of you need to be uh, in front of ball, no under, in front of, of ball, you know, and to be ready for this, uh, this pass and to uh, next, next section. So uh, once when uh, the ball is on high, high, uh, high post, and he faced basket, everybody slide in a lever or uh, five men to duck in, you know, for this uh, next next section, four men and five men. Uh, second, second, the inside entrance, uh, this, this one is first, you know, with this uh, pass or uh, dribbling uh, around, you know, and the uh, second, uh, inside entrance if first line is tight. So uh, we need to open short corner. This is important. So like you see on this diagram, you know, four men position when four men is open short corner and five men is uh, uh, cutting to, to basket and uh, ready for, uh, to get the ball for layup. This is a very often situation, you know. That's why uh, when we are talking about set play, uh, play uh, set play on uh, offense, you know, we need uh, to to establish that in a moment when we have chemistry between players. So that's why it's very important, as you see from this first diagram, uh, that uh, four and five men are practicing with defense, without defense, with two coaches, you know. So it must be chemistry between between our players, you know. Uh, as we used to say, we need to close our eyes and to know where is uh, our teammate. So this is this is very important. And of course, you know, that's why it's very important that we need to be long time together. Uh, other uh, Next step to uh, it's to read the defense. So that's why it's uh, very important when I was talking about uh, this uh, that people uh, that the players need to 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 uh, know what to do. You know, this is they need to think. They need to uh, to uh, create this this. Uh, uh, situation, to imagine some, some situation and to create something. Uh, when, once when we get chemistry, we start with uh, this uh, set, set play, you know, it will be double screen or it will be overload or it will be pick on side. And of course, you know, 1-3-1 one, one, uh, offense against uh, the zone is also very good if team play Matchup zone. What does mean matchup zone? We can talk some other time because you know this is combination and with some rules when the uh, defense from zone defense start to play man man to man. Once when somebody cut to the basket or when uh, uh, often start to play uh, pick pick and roll or pick and pop. Uh, one more time, you need to set. Uh, Offense depends which kind of players you have. So don't uh, copy. I said our job is copy paste, but don't copy. For example, you know, let's say Real Madrid, Barcelona, or uh, that, that that's, that's kind of team, because the players are, are complete different. So you need 
to uh, uh, to to uh, your players need to be self self confident and they must be comfortable on uh, their sport where, where they play. So it will be you know uh, this my my uh, experience and what I want to share with you about uh, two three zone defense which are very popular again in India especially. Again, we will work, we want to stop this in the young category, and Coach Matic and me, uh, and uh, with with your help for sure. Why? Because you know we don't need results in the young category. We need to develop players. This is the most important. So with this zone, uh, on uh, uh, this grassroots, we kill uh, their their individuality and their. Uh, the, uh, they are improving in, in basketball. So this is uh, uh, shortly what what uh, I, I have. Ankush, it's time, yes? Ankush, yes, uh, it's, time, it's time to stop or I can... You can continue 10 minutes more after secretary comes. We can, after that, we can have 15 minutes session. Okay, so uh, what I want also to to uh, tell you, uh, also we we have uh, uh, when we are talking about zone defense, we have also uh, some some uh, kind of defense which are on uh, full court. You know, it's not only pressing uh, man to man. So it's a zone press. So uh, we need also to, to uh, uh, practice, you know, our uh, <coughs> break press against this this kind of, of defenses. So uh, for sure we can uh, talk uh, in future about we, we can uh, uh, extend our our. Uh, <coughs> our these uh, topics you know and uh, uh, continue with what we prepare now it's uh, actually it's uh, some some fundamentals i'm sorry you know uh, we, we just make uh, one one uh, not mistake but you know uh, because of this uh, technically how how we organize this these topics coach matic was talking about this uh, uh, read and direct, and after that I was talking about transition. So I tell you, you know, we need first to to go. Why I'm telling this because this is methodical uh, methodics, you know, in basketball. What is very important. That's why we don't need to jump. You know, you will organize well this set against zone defense. But our players, they don't know triple threat position. They use too much dribbling. They are not uh, uh, follow this uh, slide uh, under the, 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 the ball to be ready to receive the, this ball. They are not to drive and kick. They are not to, to uh, play, create one-on-one -on -one from uh, free throws line, from uh, high post position. They are not able to create one-on-one -on, -one on short corner, you know, with the face to the basket. So that's why it's very important, you know, again, to go methodically from simple to complicated. Don't go first complicated and then uh, go back to, to simple. So uh, today, uh, because it's our uh, last session, uh, our uh, General Secretary of Basketball Federation, uh, Mr. Chandramukhi Sharma, he will uh, uh, be connected with us, you know, and he will uh, say hello to, to uh, all participants and, uh, and to wish you, you know, for, for sure, uh, first of all, safe and, and uh, uh, good, good health. And after that, you know, uh, this uh, successful your uh, coaching career. What I want also to, to thanks now, I want to thanks first of all Coach Matic uh, because we were working together. Our logistic uh, with uh, Ankush, Malini, uh, Rakesh, 
special thanks uh, to to our president, Mr. Govindraj under Muki, and of course I want to thanks to all our uh, uh, my friends, you know, and coaches who was working with me uh, with all this uh, period. Sai coach uh, Ashpak and uh, Kuldeep, then. Uh, our lady Sheba, uh, Priyanka, and uh, Anita. Uh, then coach Shirinavaz, Mohan, Tankachan, Srinath, Nike. Uh, wish you all uh, success and good health. And uh, uh, today uh, I'm really happy because uh, my uh, favorite uh, uh, literature and uh, poet uh, Rabindar Tagora, uh, this is his uh, birthday today, 7th of May, and uh, he won Nobel Prize in 1913, uh, first non-European uh, who, who won a Nobel Prize. And uh, his, compo uh, his composition, Janagana Mana, is uh, actually Indian national at that time. So, I use this situation to really, I, I, I have in my country, I have uh, his uh, book and his uh, uh, poetry, you know, uh, I'm his fan and uh, I'm really happy that I'm in, in his country in a moment when, uh, when he, uh, he, he and nation celebrate his birthday. Good health to everyone, take care. Basketball is our love. We are part of one of the best, no one of the best, the best sport on the world. So for sure, basketball is uh, complete and the uh, best, best, uh, best sport on, on, on the world ever. So a uh, lot of us, we start uh, with passion, with love. Some of us, uh, after that, continue uh, like professional coaches, and the international coaches and uh, you know uh, it's up to you it's up to your ambition it's up to of your pension but i hope if you choose basketball uh, you you make a good good point because you know basketball again is privilege basketball cannot uh, play everyone you know, a lot of sports, a lot of people can play, but basketball is something specific. Also, especially for these uh, grassroots coaches, you know, you prepare your uh, students, you know, for future life. Usually, these uh, sportsmen, basketball players, boys and girls, they are in the future, you know, very good uh, part of society. They are very good employers. They are very good parents. So that's why we are we are really happy. Some of them will be professional. A lot of them no. So they are because of love, because of passion, and uh, please uh, uh, help them. You know, to to some will continue till the end of career to play basketball. Somebody will stop to, and uh, we are uh, we also want these people. You know, in basketball to be. Uh, referee or to be uh, manager of the team or to be, you know, uh, part of, of staff or, or uh, some doctors or uh, some physio or something like that. So everyone is very important, you know, and uh, I, I hope you will keep this on mind once uh, when, when you uh, step on, on, on the floor. Thank you so much. God bless you all and uh, wish you good health, first of all, and good, good uh, situation in uh, your country. Thank you. If somebody has some questions, please. Coach, you can speak a few words. Is the last okay. Hello, everybody. As we are say, uh, last part of the of this session, uh, we will uh, 
we will open table that everybody can ask a question and then we we can continue continue and talk uh, what you are interested in some some coaches ask me some question uh, and i say that i will talk best way is uh, that you are in a chat can put uh, any question and then call zoran and me we can uh, answer for uh, what we what we can do in this moment Any questions can raise their hands and they can ask. There's the last session. So one question, Coach. Suhash, you can ask. Uh, coach, I want to ask you, uh, you please show me the position of players when uh, full court man-to-man -man and offensive team doesn't have any pivot, any post. And how can a trap be created from it? Okay, first of all, you have to know when you will play uh, full court press. They can be your uh, type of the defense, what you are, what you are for uh, all the time, or that is uh, some uh, defense what you are used in a different situation. That is, uh, that will not be your permanent defense, that is uh, some defense what you are called after the basket, or uh, you are playing... Uh, after the timeout or uh, in a special call when you are score basket maybe lay up for a three point shot that is a different way and, and then uh, this type of the defense can be on the also different way first of all if you are talking about full man press you have to know that we will uh, divide the court uh, on the three part three three thrusts uh, in the front court because we can really more. We, we, we can say that is a like a green light. Green, uh, that is a tra traffic light. Traffic light have a three color. Green, green color, yellow color, and red color. Green color is uh, what give a defense more opportunity because uh, ball is uh, very far away and uh, we can risk from uh, this area. Yellow area is a place where we are really prepare and then red zone that is the area what is my home i not let anybody to come in my home when when the popular people say that is a restriction area and then we want to control in this area everything what is possible in a area in a green zone we can go double we can go jump switch that is a, what we are prepared and what information we have. We can send the player to the left if your left hand is a weaker or it is a tactic of the team. And then we are going double and ready to make uh, some type uh, from a pressing to going to the zone press. Depend uh, of the way what you are prepared. Everything what you want to play, you need to practice. That you need to know. That is uh, very rare. Sometime after time out that you are that, that you are given some player what you are think what you are not a practice but that is for a very high professional player and that also is a very very risky everything what you are doing you need to practice to prepare this situation in a practice and after that that you are that you are you and then sometimes is a combination that you are coming in a pressing that yeah, when you are when you are double, double, you are coming in a zone press that is behind the double team, you have a triangle where is the basics to the ball and the last player is a safety. And then we know how we will, after that, back to the man or how we will back to the, to the zone defense, how we will cover. But again, I tell you, everything what you want to play you have to prepare. You have to know what is the level of the ball because if you ball going behind your back, you have to sprint to the level to the ball. You have to uh, cover. I will repeat what I say when I'm talking about the puck line defense because quality of the one defense is the 30% talking. We have to showing and then talking. I said, my, my, my. Every time I need to, to talk, switch, not to switch, uh, blocking out, that is, we need to talk. And then this talk have to be uh, really loud and consistent. 
all the time we have to know if you are talk early, loud, and consistent. That is uh, something what we need to know when we are when we are in a deep. When we are in offense, that is uh, that is uh, by eye. We are not talking in offense. In offense, we are react, and then we have a eye communication. I think if you are enough, that is uh, what I want to tell. Uh, coach, one more question. Or, uh, or another me. Zoran, Zoran. Uh, welcome. Hello. Raj, you can ask your question. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, my, course, my question is for actually uh, Mr. Norman Isaac. Uh, uh, if he's available, can you please put him through? He is not there today, I think. You can, yeah, yeah, he is there, he is there, he is there. Wait, wait. Norman, sir, is okay, there. Okay, I see him, that's why. Yeah, yeah, you can ask. Okay, uh, hello, Mr. Norman, sir. Uh, actually, I have a question regarding the hacking foul. Uh, can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, you can. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. This, uh, Mr. Norman, sir, this question is for you. Yeah, yeah, please tell me. Yeah, uh, this is regarding a hacking foul. So during a during the tournament, there was an incident where uh, we actually hacked, we tried to foul the opposite team player because he was a really bad free throw shooter. So for the first foul, we were given a normal foul. Basically, we got to shoot him free throw and we still got the ball back and he missed all the shots. So the second foul was called an intentional foul on my one of my team, uh, one of my uh, players. So do you think uh, we just didn't even grab the player? It was just we had put our arm across his chest to just keep in touch with him so that we'll call a foul. So there was called this was called as an intentional foul which led to two free throws and a ball possession to the opposite team. So is this rule allowed here of hacking someone continuously unless we grab hold of the other player and intentionally foul him and put him down on the floor? Or is it not uh, in the book here? So I just wanted to clarify on this one. Hello. Uh, if Norman sir didn't get it, I don't mind if Matic sir is answering this also. Uh, can you can you repeat, uh, please? <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't mind repeating. Yeah. So, I'm sure that you're aware about this hacking foul where you hack a player purposely and intentionally to make him shoot free throws. So, because if he's a bad shooter, right? Okay. So, there was an incident in a match here where the referee called that as an intentional foul and he gave the ball as well as the free throws to the opposite team. So, I wanted uh, to clarify regarding this if the referee is aware are of this rule. Are you preparing to be coach or to be referee? What are you preparing for what? <laughs> Actually, my question is for the referee, but then I, uh, I, 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 did, I don't think he heard me. So. so, we are not referee. Next time when he's referee here, we can help you. <laughs> Definitely, no problem. Okay, but... Uh... You have to know all tricks, what you have to prepare. That is the tricks. And then you have yeah, to definitely. prepare. Same story is when you are shoot uh, free throws uh, at the end of the game. And then uh, you know you will make a football, 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 and waiting that uh, scorer is score. If you, if you only one point, that is you are make, 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 make a lot of time. That at the end, that is uh, something. That is uh, something. What is uh, what is uh, situation? What uh, is a very specific situation coming from uh, from a time to time? And then uh, that is not uh, reality. Every every coach have to prepare the situation. What he think that have to prepare? Because uh, when you are preparing for everything, practice. When you are preparing for a game. You need to have a special plan, a basic plan. You have to have a optional plan that is a happen. Not a 70 percent, 80, 80 percent all time game have a same scenario, and you can control the game. But happen that is in a 20, 20 uh, percent of the time there are something going wrong, and then you cannot uh, control this. And then for this way, you also have to 
be prepared. And that is uh, something that, that is a uh, quality of the coach that can transform, that immediately they are, they are take away game plan, and then uh, he start uh, to react on the situation, what will be happen. That is uh, easy to be coach. Everybody will be coach, because if you can read from a book, that is who you are preparing, that you have uh, much more your knowledge, but knowledge coming uh, from a one way, from a learning, from a experience, and at the end of the, your uh, instinct. Coach needs to have an instinct what will be do during the practice, during an uh, unpredictable situation, during, uh, during uh, out of the control of the game. It is uh, something what uh, make one coach uh, more success or uh, less success. I think that is a not straight answer, what you are asked, but from the other side is the answer for, for what you have to be prepared and to give an answer for every situation because nobody let you that you are said, okay, stop, and you will stop and explain. No, game is a, game is a life and you have to make life decisions. That is, that is from my point of view. Uh, one question for Zoran coach from Shiva. Hello. Shiv, Shiv, Shiva, you can ask. Hello, good evening, coach. This is Shiva. Good evening, Shiva. Welcome. Coach, how does motion offense work against Bruin defense coach? Uh, it's, uh, it's okay, you know. This is, uh, as I tell uh, before, you know, we don't need to be static. This is, uh, first of all, we need to uh, press this defense, you know, to, to work hard on, on uh, this. But of, of, of course, you know, you also need uh, the, the, the players for, for it, you know. So that's why I, I was talking. It depends uh, which, which kind of players you have. Uh, you can create this uh, set of offense against zone defense. Actually, you know, uh, today uh, you play sometimes a set of offense, you know, a multiple set of offense against uh, all kind of zone defense. It doesn't matter which, which uh, zone defense they play. One, two, two, three, two, 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 three, two, one, two, one, three, one, you know, uh, this combined uh, zone also, matchup zone. So uh, there is lots of, you know, situation. Uh, offense want to make, to create the uh, advantage and also defensively they want to, to create the uh, advantage on, on, on defense. So why not? You will, you will try, you will see, you know, but for me, it, it, can, it can work. And one more question, Coach. Sorry, one more yes. question. Does flex, flexi offense work yes. against June defense? Well, of course, you know, uh, you have some, some situation, uh, not full, full flex, but the uh, part of flex you can use, you know, uh, especially, you know, if, if, you, if you make uh, some, some screen, you know, uh, part of flex for sure, you can, you can, it can be useful. Not full flex offense, but part of part of flex you can you can make. Let's say you know this this uh, pick uh, on weak side, you know, and after that to use this to 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 open after that, and uh, some some part you can use for sure. So Thank next you. next question for Coach Matic. Uh, Dinesh, you can ask. Uh, hi. Thank you. Good evening, coach. Uh, Good evening. I am Dinesh Kumar, coach of OGC basketball team. I would like to thank you both, Mr. Wesleyan Matic and Joran Vaisik, for the wonderful and educational sessions. My question is for Wesleyan, sir. Wesleyan Matic. Yeah. Sir, uh, what do uh, what you think uh, India make mistakes in that situation when India was leading in the last seconds uh, against Bahrain? And in last seconds, we lost. What is your views on that after you analyze that game? Okay, every what? time, every time I uh, I give uh, what I told uh, 
in a previous in a previous one you have a predicted unpredicted situation and you yes. have coaching in instinct that is yes. something what coach have and then when you are full of all game you have to make a last decision what you want to do my decision was that i have to stay uh, in a zone defense and then with a because all the game with a zone defense we we made a good result we are playing more then 50% of the time we play zone the zone defense and then in this moment i decide that i want to play uh, zone and then uh, on the time out they are called we are stay we are stay in a zone and then we have a prepare zone player on the right corner did a, didn't play on the principle what we are play and then at the end ball coming in a corner and they are shoot we are prepare for, for this before but this happen in a game and that is yes. something what as as you are coach you have to make a decision and then the, you have to stay after this this decision front of the your player and then you have to take why you are take this decision you have to stay behind everything what you are doing and then your player will trust you that is the yes. decision from all of us and we are make decision I make a decision and player follow that we want to stay in a zone. And that's it. Right, sir. And then we make I, a mistake I and just then want we to, a corner three point. I just want to, to tell uh, it was a good decision for sure, you know, but uh, sometimes, it, and uh, don't give up, you know. If you have a prepared uh, game and uh, don't change every time. Sometimes you can change, but this situation was very, very strictly. And with strictly, you know, this, this uh, uh, responsibility. So we didn't cover this, this shoot, it happened and they, they, but anyway, this game, I, I cannot say that we lose this game. Uh, it's like we win this game. So that's why it's a uh, uh, good decision and for sure we can beat Bahrain here more than one point and do our goal. One another question for hey, I will not finish with this. The uh, yeah. question is not uh, winning or losing. question is uh, that you are, have to say be, be, besides your decision. And that is a game, what I say, is uh, not predictable. And then you have to have a main a game plan. You need to have a 20% what is not, uh, what maybe happen and you are not control at the end. That is the instinct of the coach. If you are, don't have an instinct, no, no, if you don't have an instinct, good coach make a difference with a, with a good instinct. And then they have an instinct for a good decision. That is not all time happen, but you have to stay and follow your instincts and then follow what you have to do. Okay, next question for Coach Joran. Dana Pal, sir, you can ask your question. Yeah, good evening, Coach. Good evening. My hearty uh, thanks for both of you the, for the fine, good sessions for the past uh, 15 days. Just through you, I want to tell something to all the coaches. Being a player, being a coach, being an official for the past 35 years, I could observe during the matches what the coaches are doing. The coaches are concentrating on the officials, not on the team. Because it has happened, uh, I have seen, see it is, I have started officiating 1986 and up to 2012. Till that time, I have seen coaches are concentrating on officials, not on the team. If they are concentrating on the players, I think it will be a better one for the coaches to get a better play from their uh, <coughs> players. Right, Whatever, right. And Coach, one more question. We are running short of time. Bharat, Bharat you can ask a question. Coach before was complete right, you know, this is uh, for sure something what we have to, to escape.
Bharat. Any more questions? Where is our general secretary? He is uh, oh, connected. Due to some technical reasons, he would not be able to join. I think. Uh, okay. Can I finish? Uh, can I finish uh, with uh, with this? What I say? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when I when I start uh, my coaching after the four or five years, we had a one of the teacher of the European basketball and then international basketball is Arta Nikolic, and then Coach Zoran also also was a student of him, and then he say what what we need to looking when when is a game start. When the game style first, you need to look in how your offense is working. That is the first one. After that, after the three, four minutes, after that, we have to look in how our defense start to, uh, start to, start to working. And after that, we will not uh, touch referee. Referee is a part of the game. But influence of the other coach, if you make on the referees, we will waiting to see how will be referee's, uh, referee's decision. If you other coach start to make influence on the referee, if your referee not react, I will continue to do this because I will not allow that only one side, one side do this. And then again, I will start to concentrate about that I control my team, but also I will not allow that anything wrong happened during the game. You have to prepare for this. That is, uh, need a big concentration and need a discipline from uh, your player. Your bench cannot, cannot talk because every player will follow coach. If your coach start to protesting of the referee, every player will start to protesting of the referee. And then if you are going protesting, we are going all together. And that have to be also by, by, by train. We need to train. If you want to protest, we will protest all together. And not that happened that only only one person protests and immediately will be sanctioned. That is the same story in the defense. If you are make a foul in the defense, we will make all five foul, and then from a ten foul the referee will call a, will call a six foul. Four will not call. But if you one play very aggressive and other play not aggressive, that make that is basketball is a game of the strategy, and then for everything we need to have a strategy. Okay. Yes, it, it's uh, complete. Uh, Ankush? Ankush? Yeah, coach, yeah. Uh, so, if uh, Chandramukhi cannot talk, uh, you can say, uh, say a few words be, uh, in behalf of uh, Basketball Federation. Oh, no, coach, uh, you, you can finish off. Coach Matic can finish off with his words. So, okay, uh, if you have a, any question? I just appreciate all the time what I, what I spent because uh, you know that it is a very difficult time during the curfew that uh, you have to stay home and then uh, you are help us that we are prepared what we have to do. And I really enjoy you know, this because it's a cut the time of, the, of the, this uh, two, two, three weeks what we, what we spent uh, and together you have uh, my number that is the whatsapp number you have uh, my email that is uh, that is the uh, facebook you you will find a lot of interesting things i will try to download uh, and then you and will post it up on the on the facebook book also this review from a clinic you can find i put a uh, put a review what some of you they, they did that they made uh, great and uh, all time we are we are here for you, we are here to help, if we can help, and then also we are learned from you, from uh, any question, and that is uh, some uh, respects and uh, some, uh, some uh, way that uh, all time we have to, to respect each other and then that uh, we need uh, to develop basketball. We are, we are people what need uh, to develop basketball, to make a basketball most important sport, what we know, and that is our mission. And uh, I, I wish you that have a rest of the time and then you are spent on the best way. And then if you can, if I could help you, I'm very happy.
Thank you again. And then wish you rest of the time that you are spent on the help and on the best way. Coach, a few words from your side. Finish. Uh, yes, uh, uh, first of all, again, thanks uh, to Coach Hadic because uh, we work together and all people who, who uh, help us to, to uh, represent uh, this. Uh, what is uh, uh, basketball, you know? We were talking before about school of basketball, different kind of school of basketball. Our country even it's small country, you know, uh, we cannot talk about Serbian school or Yugoslav school of basketball because uh, from same things, a lot of coaches have different uh, view and, and, and it's good. As much as possible, uh, uh, viewing and uh, thinking about the uh, same, same uh, problem, it does mean that we will be much more, mu much more viewing and much more opinion and this is good for, for basketball. So that's why, you know, whatever you do, you know, uh, try to follow some, some uh, principles, but create your own style and uh, your own, as coach said, instinct and, and uh, your own, own uh, philosophy and uh, be original. Thank you again. Wish you all the best. To you, your family, and uh, to to us also, and to all Indian nation. Thank you. Okay, coach. Take care. We will end off. Bye. Bye.